Yo, this is card for card a deck list that uh, did well in a. It did well in a Japanese tournament at one point. Yeah, Popertron's like a full on control dex. Uh, what does this hand do? Dude, 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 keep. Pedal, ritual, and tomb exhum. If we draw a swamp on one, we can actually thought seize our opponent before. They've mulliganed to four. Are they also playing a reanimator deck? Swamp, 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 swamp. That'll do, pig. That'll do. That'll do, pig. Like peekaboo. They have an intomb and a collective brutality. Remember when I said they were probably playing reanimator because they, uh, they mulliganed? Man, we could have been in trouble if they would have played the Entombment response. Small mistake from the opponent there. All right. Um, I have a Dark Ritual anywhere. Wow, I didn't get a Dark Ritual. That's unfortunate. <laughs> uh, pass Exhum is fair. Everybody gets a creature back. Ain't that the truth? They just animated dead my Grave Titan. Um. Yeah, that's a thing. What does this? What does this Infernal Tutor do? Um. Where is it? It does. It says. You want me to tell you what it does? So, the fact that we have the tendrils in our hand already is a little awkward. Let me go get my own Grave Titan, I guess. How are they did to tendrils? I don't have mana to cast it. Jacqueline, you smudged my glasses. Well, I guess I can attack with this Gristlebrand and try and draw seven. Oh, I could tutor for Grave Titan and just cast it? Look, Declan Cupcakes. Hey, Frenzy Mage, thanks for the bits. Oh, is that how that works? Do you, look, do you see the cupcakes? No, Shallow Grave gets the top creature, right? And I have a Gristle Brand in my hand. Tell the internet we like cupcakes. Shallow Grave doesn't work because there's going to be a Gristle Brand on top of it. We don't have any real cupcakes. Look at, you see the cupcakes? Look how cute they are! Cupcakes in... Is the bucket? If we end to we can do that? Alright, YOLO. Your brother's birthday is soon. Maybe we'll have cupcakes for your brother's birthday. All right, so I hit a dark ritual, so we can go dark ritual. Cupcake. <gasps> hey, more cupcakes for full metal lad. All right, so this is really this is kind of interesting. So we're gonna go we're gonna go shallow grave in response. 
her shallow grave, and then we're gonna respond to our shallow grave with Entomb, and then we're gonna respond to our Entomb by cracking our LEDs. Look! More cupcakes. All right. So now this guarantees that our Magus of the Will ends up on top of our graveyard. And now we get to floop the Magus of the Will into play. And we get to activate the Magus of the Will, which means I get to replay these cards from my discard pile. This deck is sweet. Can we just talk about how I just got to use Yogmoth's Will and Legacy? Can we talk about how I got to just Yogmoth's Will someone in Legacy? Let's talk about it. It's kind of awesome. Is it good? It's good for me. I don't know if it was good for my opponent, but it was certainly good for me. Um, well, this is a surgical extraction matchup, but probably Inquisition, maybe? Mommy? Grave Titan and Unburial Rates are probably too slow. I think that one's pretty. The Lotus Petal is very pretty, I agree. It's Triple Black cupcakes. Yoda's Yogwill. Cupcakes! Declan wants to know where the cupcakes went. <laughs> I think I definitely want the Inquisition. <gasps> If cupcakes is fair, butt cakes. Yeah. Well, cupcakes, not butt cakes. Butt cakes. No. Nope. But butt cakes. Cupcakes. <laughs> butt cakes. Butt cakes. You got some butt cakes. Butt cakes, mommy. A butt cake. <laughs> What's butt cakes? What's butt cakes? What's what is bu butt cakes? <laughs> butt cakes. Push, butt cakes. Push. <laughs> <laughs> my turn. My turn. My no. turn. My turn. My turn. My turn. Declan, help me. It's his turn. No, my turn. <laughs> no, he just takes it. My turn. <laughs> new, <laughs> new from Bucky. Little Bird. Where'd the cupcakes go? Where'd the cupcakes go? I don't know. All the cupcakes are gone. That's the worst of the cupcakes. Dad lost them? Dad, you lost the cupcakes? That's the worst of the cupcakes. <laughs> cupcakes go? Yeah, where the cupcakes go? Um. Ben? This hand's just like slow ben, and derpy. Mommy? It's got a thought seize in it, but it just doesn't really execute our plan at all, My right? So I should mulligan. The cupcakes are all gone. Uh? This hand kinda does stuff. Uh, kinda? Yeah! <laughs> this hand doesn't really do anything either, right? Uh, Iron Goo thanks with the $12 donation. <laughs> Dude. Proper Tron list sent via Twitter. Hashtag no ghost Dorito. This is actually Iron Goo thanks is our opponent, he said. There's, a monkey snack. there's a butt cakes <laughs> recipe. <laughs> this hand actually seems okay. If we draw a fatty, if we draw a fatty, we can go turn to um turn to crack LED or cast shallow grave crack LED in response. <laughs> My risky Google search of the day Daddy, at work. Mommy. Looking for fatties. You're insane. Looking for fatties. I the guy. I the guy. We the guy. Are we just casting Magus to the will next turn? I think so. They could into Muntap get us here. Mommy. Mommy. What, baby? Mommy, go up. You want to go up? Iona seems pretty good against our mono black deck. Oh, they carry me. Iona seems pretty good against our mono black deck. You carry me. You carry me. Oh, it was on top of our deck, chat. We were going to turn three them. <laughs> All right, do I want Inquisitions on the play? Mommy, uh, 
I feel like I want some Inquisitions on the play, maybe. Got these collective brutalities. Faster disruption. You want some fish? Push me. This hand just doesn't do anything, right? We don't have an we don't have an LED for the infernal tutor to work. I have an intune, but that really doesn't accomplish anything. Come on, dude. Uh, this hand also just doesn't accomplish anything. Do you want to bring up your cup? I'm not carrying this. Come on. Your head is fine. Come on. Okay, let's go upstairs and I'll kiss it. So, the shallow grave on top of our deck is good, but it does mean we can't entomb on one, which means we're not comboing till three, so it's probably much too slow. Am I just supposed to entomb on one and hope for the best? Probably. I wonder if they have a discard spell. Do they have a discard spell or a fast hand, right? Like, those are, those are the options here. Sure. Maybe they go off with Exhum and we get to entomb in response. I guess I'll entomb for Gristlebrain and just hope to rip a reanimate spell for it here. You could potentially, potentially not be stone dead. Our mistake was giving them a turn one. Should never give them a turn one. Less bad things happen to you if you don't give your opponent a first turn. Oh, are they just going to reanimate another thing here? Well, they need a two-mana reanimate spell, right? Yeah, our Gristlebrand will be able to beat their Gristlebrand in combat. It's going to be great. In two minor Oh, oh, sure. This is probably in tomb for... Oh, nope. Let's do this in response. None of that. I... My 7-7 seven, seven in the graveyard. Mm, the way this works out, Shallow Grave's not now because the Gristle Brand is underneath the Magus of the Will. They just animate Dead Art Gristle Brand. What a tilt. It's a good line. Good line from the opponent there. Hey, Tal Rand with the two month three subscription. The re up and bud. Welcome. We're just trying to close out the day with uh, some tight legacy memes here. Got some some minor legacy memes. <laughs> well, we can. We got a. We got to win in the first one. We got to go off with our Yogmoss will. So that was kind of sweet. This deck makes me want to play Commander so badly. Yeah, the anime did my thing was a good line. The swamps are in the sideboard because your plan for dodging graveyard hate in this deck is just boarding in mana and grim monoliths and casting your threats. This deck is hella bad. It, it might be. But for the sake of science, someone has sent us money to play it so we can confirm for the world that it is in fact hella bad.
Island Ponder, sure. It was democracy, ain't that the truth? Basic Schwamp Go. Get the right shot, man. You're gonna be too slow, hopefully. Hopefully you're gonna be too slow. And if they want to counterspell this in tune, we actually have another way to get things into the graveyard here because Shallow Grave doesn't target. It just puts the top creature from your, from your graveyard into play. So if they counter this, we actually have another way to get a thing in the graveyard here. So, and we can play through a daze and a spell pierce here the way, the way this turn is going to line up. So we get to go this into cast LED. My shallow grave retaining priority, ditch my hand with lion's eye diamond. Whoa, that, that's good to know. Uh, Magic Online doesn't offer us the option of the order our things go into the graveyard. So that could have gone very poorly for us. That, that could have gone very poorly for us. Um, seven more. It's a dark ritual. So Shallow Grave is one of the few cards that cares about the ordering of the cards in your graveyard. Um, I'm going to Thought Seize them just to make sure the coast is clear here. A brainstorm and a Bloodbraid Elf. All right. We can Yogg Will this turn, right? I can go... Yeah, so I can go Infernal Tutor... Retain priority. And then I can go in tomb in response. And then I can crack this for black in response. And now in tomb's gonna resolve and put a Magus of the Will on top of my Oh, I'm gonna be short mana to do that though, right? That's fine. We can just kill them with tendrils. I was excited to Magus the Will, but I forgot this takes three to activate, right? So I'm actually short mana to do that if I get a if I get a spell here. That's fine. I just get to go ahead. Let's get to go ahead and get the tendrils and kill them that way. Yeah, it did look like it was the order they were in my hand. The old tendrils them for a little bit, finish them with Gristlebrand. Give him a little, a little friendly love tap there. All right. So I believe against the Death Rite Shaman deck, we're supposed to go on the sideboard plan. This is this. Um... I'm supposed to cut the Intombs? Probably. This actually seems okay. Just like leave in some entombs and I think this is great. Seems fine. Just become a Grave Titan deck post board. I think that's the plan at least is become a Grave Titan deck. Man, we've been boarded in four extra lands too, right? Sad. I mean, this thing puts a fatty into play on turn one, essentially. They don't have uh, disruption. You get to thought seize them now. That sounds great.
Will this be uploaded today? It will be. As soon as when you quit teaching, what's your midlife crisis, Abohawk? Asking the real questions. So they kept their hand in the back of force and surgical. I'm gonna take that, hopefully draw another. And maybe I'm supposed to take the force actually, since Inquisition can hit surgical. I could see that being the case. I could see that being the case. It's like bordered in Inquisition and that can't take Force of Will. Yeah, yeah, immediately punished. At least I realized the mistake when I made it. Their Baleful Strikes away. Oh, they drew another Force. All right, fair. Is there a reason to play this over Black Red Rain? Or yeah, it's way sweeter. Yep. Yep. Lake of the Dead. All right. Enter the battlefield. Sacrifice the swamp instead if you don't. All right, so. Uh, just one ghost so far today. That's nice. This might eat a force. They forced it last game. They're not forcing it this time. Okay, I wonder if they found another surgical. Wonder if they found another surgical. Yeah, that seems really sweet, actually. Just cavern instead. I like that idea. I like that idea a lot. Force pitching Leovold. They have two forces and two Leovolds, though, so you know, details. Yeah, but like we have 16 swamps in our deck. Oh, sure. Don't mind if I do opponent deal. Now I'm really glad we went for it there. I think cavern seems pretty sweet. I could be in for that. Maybe we'll have time for Sunny Depths. Yeah, we'll see. We shall see. Ooh, ooh. Just get to take your force away here. Okay. Okay, they're on, they're on nothing. We rip a reanimate spell. Or a Dark Ritual. Dark Ritual also lets us cast the Grave Titan. Uh, this sacrifices a swamp to make four. This actually casts the Grave Titan, right? Right? Yeah, five, six. Yeah, this card's really powerful. These are my Grave Titans. My Grave Titans are amazing. <laughs> nice fair deck. Surgical Extraction Double Force Will. No problem. Hope no any hope everyone else isn't having any problems tonight. My name is Jeff Logan. We're hanging out playing some Legacy Magic the Gathering. I'm gonna stream it for about four hours tonight. If you're enjoying what you see, please make sure you hit that follow button. I stream magic here on this channel every Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday afternoons. Um, if you're enjoying what you see and you want to help me make more of this content, the best way to do that is by subscribing on Twitch. Uh, you can also support my content by supporting my sponsors. MTGOTraders.com would love to buy and sell magic online cards with you. If you use code Hogan PayPal, I check out with them, you'll save 8% on your singles orders there. Democracy to have time for sunny dips. Thanks for the bits, Iron. We'll see how quick we finish this. If we finish this in like the next 45 minutes, I could probably do 
justified sunny depths. Coolstuffing.com buys and sells a lot of cool stuff, including TCG singles. Using promo code Jeff5, you can save 5% on all of your singles purchases there. And finally, InkedGaming.com would love to help you customize your gaming experience. They do custom playmats, mouse pads, binders, bags. They really do it all. You can upload your own custom artwork or choose from the wide range of custom artwork that they have on their website. We are waiting once more. Yeah, that's it for waiting. Anyways, this stream is also brought to you by viewers like you all. This is a donation deck list. So someone sent us this deck list and the money to play the league. And if you want to learn more about how you can get me to play your deck on stream, uh, go to bit.ly forward slash Google sell out all, all lowercase there. Did you, did you? Someone mentioned my YouTube channel earlier too. So after my stream's done, I archive all of my streams on YouTube and I break them up by deck. So if you want to watch just fair decks or just unfair decks, just legacy, just modern, you can find them all all sorted there and tagged accordingly. I put all the deck lists underneath them as well. So if you're looking for a deck list after the fact, you can always find them on the YouTube channel. You ever figure out a way to shill for your standing desk company? I'm, I'm gonna buy a couple soon and somebody should get some money. They did, they never, they never returned my my answer about the stand. Speaking of standing desk, I am old and fat and we've been sitting for a while. So let's stand up. Enjoy the ride, Twitch. Ugh. If you are old and fat and out of shape like I am uh, and you use the computer a lot, 10 out of 10 would recommend a standing desk. We are. They're a good, that was a worthwhile investment. Easily my best purchase last year. Enjoy it a lot. It's got motor, motors in either leg, so it goes up and down automatically without having to crank or move anything on my own. Oh. 27 is the new 53, ain't that the truth? Man, it is snowing outside, coming down. I'm glad I don't have to go anywhere. Leaving the house is overrated, chat. Leaving the house is overrated. Gosh, this hand is so good. If we uh, if we hit a fatty, opponents playing mono red sneak attack. I guess it's kind of slow. I'm gonna mulligan. They're a chalice deck, which kind of sucks for us. We don't care about Blood Moon at least. So we've got that going for us. Uh. Tilt. All right, that's exactly what we want. This is a chalice, and we are sad. Yep. Um, I think we're supposed to play our lands up to hard cast our crap. That's what we're supposed to do here. We know we played against this opponent while we were in an earlier league, so we know they're on the ley line of the void out of the board. I'm not a subscriber. Can I give you bits as democracy points to get? Yeah, definitely. All right, so Infernal Tutor is a reason to just cast these cards in my hand. We could just plan to move to hand size. And maybe that's worthwhile. Yeah, I guess, I guess we're just on the move to hand size plan. I shouldn't have played the second land out. Should have, if I would have held these lands, we're moving to hand size next turn. Probably gonna die now. There's a good chance we died either way. Collective Brutality would be a great draw. Maybe they'll miss their trigger. That old backup Blood Moon. 
Yep, so I'm gonna give them, they're gonna get two extra draws that they wouldn't have gotten if I would have correctly identified that I should have been holding lands. Thankfully these Blood Moons don't do anything. Oh yeah, yeah, any anyone can send in send in bits of send in bits to apply to push other things up the queue. Anyone can send any amount to push things up the queue. They have chalice on one, Tom. They have chalice on one, so my one mana spells can't resolve. Otherwise we would have just like entombed and then shallowed graved. What are the rates of bits to USD? One bit is one penny. OP is close to the city's blessing. Oh, geez. Dang it, Bobby. And again, this is my fault. I gave my opponent two extra draw steps, and now we lose the game because of it. So I shouldn't have played this land on two. I should have just held my lands and then found a gristle brand to discard to hand size. Uh, I'm gonna put in Inquisitions on the play. Do I wanna just fully board out of the combo on the play? I don't know if I do or not. It kind of sucks if they if they ley line us. Yeah, I'm gonna try and dodge ley line this game. If they ley line us, we'll like try and cast stuff, I guess. Yeah, this is an instant, right? Yeah, you're right. You're right. I had the lands in play. I could have I could have flooped it into play and then Yeah, I could see it too soon. I could see it too soon. Ten out of ten conceded too soon, Jet. Do anything and the stuff. Bottom that, bottom that. Pass the turn. Response to this thing is exhume. I'm going to go ahead and correct this. Actually killed them this turn. Have the tendrils in hand already. So dark ritual. You have to go dark ritual. Pedal. What else can we do here? I can Inquisition. I can Entomb Shallow Grave a Magus of the Will, but then I'm still short on, am I short on activating it? No, Entomb Shallow Grave Magus of the Will gets me. Oh, I can Inquisition myself. Well, I have the Entomb here, right? So that doesn't really matter. Right, I have two Magus of the Will. Yeah, so I Entomb. 
I'm gonna get my other Magus. And then Shallow Grave. And then activate Magus. And now I can go cast Lotus Petal. Oh, I'm actually short mana, aren't I? Oh, I can't because the tendrils is in my hand. <laughs> it actually doesn't do anything, right? <laughs> I needed I needed another ritual. I needed another ritual. I mean, the good news is they're probably dead anyways, right? I can't attack. I can't attack. Not smart or yeah, I can cast the ritual from the bin, but that doesn't do anything. It doesn't do anything. I can't inquisition them, that's true. <laughs> Whoopsie! Oh, these cards are gonna get exiled, so I want to discard ones I don't care about. No, I I can't. Magus of the Will, Yogmoth's Will makes any cards that enter your graveyard for the rest of the turn exile instead. The Exhum lines with this deck are so funny. The Exhum Shallow Grave lines. The Exhum Shallow Grave LED lines. So like, now I cast this and I hold priority and crack this for black since it doesn't target. This puts my Grave Titan into play. Yeah, it's against the same opponent, actually. I punted, I punted the first game. All right, I think, especially on the draw, I want to board into the anti-graveyard hate plan. I think it's probably too risky to keep that two games in a row. Collective's kind of slow and awkward. Let's not board all of those in. Yeah, I should have bashed first. You're you're correct. That is technically correct to bash first. I don't think it really mattered. I think we're like a, on the build our own adventure book at that point. This hand actually seems pretty good. It needs to draw a fatty at some point, but it gets to go like a pretty quick fatty. We have Inquisition of Kozilek.
Turn one Trinister would be kind of rough. They had that in their deck. Yep. If we can find... We did board in a bunch of extra lands. So if we can find another land, we can just, like, play a natural game of magic here. Or good, good, honest magic where both players just cast their spells. There's a list twist on my Twitter. Yeah, I did tweet a picture of it. You can also find my deck lists on my YouTube channel after the fact. They're always in the video descriptions. Thank you, Smurf96. The $20 donation. Naya Nightblade, I showed you, plus some extra for priority. Thanks for the donation, bud. Appreciate that. Got four green suns in there. Looks good. I assume we're pretty dead here unless it's like an Inferno Titan for some reason. Oh, yeah. We are very dead. All right, we're one, two now. One and two. Keep the meme on going. Keep on keeping on. GG's JMP when you come back. I messed up our first game. I could have shallow graved a thing into block. It was unfortunate. Victim. Oh no. Sam probably doesn't do anything, right? Oh, I guess it just like casts. Oh, this is just turn one Grave Titan, right? Yeah, it's kind of like a different take on Tin Fins. I don't know, Tin Fins wasn't particularly good. All right, since they played an island on one, I'm gonna Thought Seize here. Once we drew it, just give ourselves a better chance to punch this Grave Titan through. Take their force. Yeah, no worries, JMP. Legacy community's kind of small online, so I expect to run into people that are familiar with, especially people that sub. Um, now I wish I would have waited. Oh, I guess I could have played this to play around Spell Pierce. This is my Titan. My Titan is amazing. Please, no Terminus. Please, no Terminus. No whammy, no whammy, no whammy, no whammy, no whammy, no whammy, no whammy. Didn't get whammy chip. Didn't get whammy chip. Do 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 do. Do 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 Monastery mentor. Boy, boy, do I have some escalation for you. So minus and. You discard a card. Watch this. Hopefully their one card I don't know isn't a force of will. Sweet, so they have J Snapcaster. It's 
smash. All right, no terminus. No whammy. No whammy. No whammy. Don't do it to me. Don't do it to me. Don't do it to me. Yeah, got him. Got him. Do I even board like they could have graveyard hate? I think I'm just going to board in the Inquisitions. Just leave the graveyard plan. Because they didn't see the graveyard plan. They didn't see the graveyard plan. I'm going to trim a brutality. I don't want to cut here. Your Titan seems decent plus. I did get your proper donation. I added into the queue after the fact. I got to dig into my messages for it. Trim an Infernal Tutor. Fine. Opponent chose to go second. Well then. I'm going to keep this with a scry. It could potentially floop a Titan into play on turn two if we draw a mana source. I'm just gonna double collective double mode collective brutality here. It's like discard spell into potentially turn two, floop a titan. Target you, target you, discard this. Target you, target you, discard this. I think I am going to go to Indianapolis for the paper tournament there, potentially. Let's see. Their hand is pretty terrible. So if we had a mana source next turn, this Titan plus the four zombies it makes can probably go the distance. Mana source, mana source. Sad. I guess that means uh, if I rip a mana source, I get to flip a Gristlebrand into play instead. Bum -ba -dum -ba -dum -ba -da 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 -da. Please shuffle, please shuffle, please shuffle. I don't know, being on the play against the combo deck is pretty good usually. Opponent chose not to shuffle, so I assume they're drawing spell pierce or plow or something like that here. They played planes, maybe they're drawing terminus. Uh, you should read my article on gatheringmagic.com this week talking about data from the Pro Tour. If you're not sure what you should be playing in Modern and your goal is to win. Got some good analysis of what did well and why. No, I'm not doing Nerd Rage commentary. It was something that we were in the talks about and then just didn't end up working out. So our plan of hitting a second land is not going particularly well. Yeah, I'm gonna be taking that and doing a little bit of a deeper dive and then doing some summary and digestion of it. If we don't hit this turn, I assume with these cantrips my opponent is cast, they chose to shuffle. Okay, that's good for us potentially. All right. Yep, no force, no force of Rooney. No force of Rooney. It's a shame this is a two mana discard spell and not a one mana discard spell. Yep, not surprised they find a force there. Uh, not particularly surprised at that. I think now that they've seen where a graveyard deck, I'm gonna board. I'm gonna board into this plan here. 
I like this plan. This is like a default plan. We still have some graveyard shenanigans, but not all of it. You kept Thoughtseize on top? Well, if I kept Thoughtseize on top, I wasn't going to draw another land. And drawing another land was much more important. Like, I needed I needed the land in order to get the Titan into play. So bottoming a non-land there when I already had a Collective Brutality to play on one seemed like the much, much better play. Sounds okay. Ramps up a little bit. Hopefully we draw Fanny sometime soon. Take Ponder because it's more powerful of these two cantrips. Yeah, 10 out of 10 agree. Kevin would be great. Outside of when it's like your only land with Lake of the Dead. They choose to shuffle or keep. They did not shuffle. That's not good for us. Now, I think that line's much worse. I think the guaranteed discard spell and then hoping to draw one of 20 mana sources in the next turn or two is much better. We chose a shuffle with that one. That's good for us. I'm sure that we knew about. So we have three cards now that we know and three that we don't know. Can we hard cast that? Four, five, six, seven. Yes, yes we can. Three, six, yeah. Oh, oh. Actually need to correct that. At nine mana, had too much. Didn't even need the extra. Please be a brainstorm. God bless. Not a force of will. Please resolve. Do 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 do. He is gonna have a force of will. Oh, why do they always have it? Why do they always have it? So sad. So sad. Hopefully we just rip a reanimate spell here. All right, take another grim monolith. Get ourselves set up for another grizzly bees casting. Yeah, but if they terminus, we get to draw 14 cards. So I don't really give a shit about that. I mean, terminus is completely irrelevant. Like they're not beating us picking up 14 new cards. Your move, Kaiba. Sure, they just have Brainstorm to put the Terminus back on top again. Oh, all right. All right. I cut the Imburial Rights, which looking at how this game is played, that was definitely wrong and just inexperienced with the deck. I was like, if I'm boarding out my sideboard plan, I should cut the Imburial Rights, but that is incorrect, and their 10 out of 10 should be an Imburial Rights in my deck. All right, down to nine. Just need one more no whammy. One more no whammy. No whammy. No whammy. Ooh, ooh, looking like no whammy. Looking like we're whammyless here. Oh, no! Oh, no! 
Hardcast Terminus. It's not even real life. Yeah, it's not even real life, Hardcaster. Oh, you ask me what order I want to put the tokens on the bottom of my deck, but not the order and the thing that actually matters? Oh, Moto. Yeah, Grave Titan. Grave Titan. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Grave Titan. Doo -doo -doo -doo. This is my Grave Titan. There are many like him, but this one is mine. Grave Titan is the real miracle, ain't that the truth? Yeah, could you imagine how, how far ahead we'd be in this game if I had left the, the unveiler rights in my deck? That's 10 out of 10 never coming out again. It didn't ask you where you wanted the Titan because it was going to the top, ain't that the truth? Do 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 beep 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 see how wide they can go with this mentor. Ooh, they hit a plow. That it's pretty good. I did not keep an infernal tutor. That's interesting too, because that's a threat, right? Basically. My logic was that Oh, that's really sad. That's really unfortunate. Oh. We could beat some interaction. I wouldn't have punted and would have left. On burial rates in my deck, we'd have gotten there. I definitely haven't played some of these games well. I think we could have won the big red matchup, and this opponent played kind of poorly too, but I think we definitely had a better chance at winning than I had than I gave myself here. going on immortal yeah just about done i think this might be the last match of the night i started a little bit early today it's so probably end a little bit early i don't know that i want to dive into a whole nother league if i start another league christy probably has to put the kids to bed by herself and that's that's tough and tuma land to shuffle yeah it's actually not a bad idea Shuffles the Grave Titan back in that was on the bottom of our deck. We just get counterspelled here. Hard cast force. GG's opponent. All right, I'm going to go ahead and sign off here for the night. This deck was kind of sweet. I definitely didn't play it particularly well, but... I'd be curious to see what the person whose original built it, what their sideboard plan was for exact in the ins and outs, because Chap brought up the wide and Entomb for an unburial rates there, and I just didn't think about it. Yeah, the two lands in the sideboard being like Lake of the Dead and Cavern of Souls actually seems like a pretty interesting idea. So I'm going to go ahead and sign off. Thanks everyone for watching. I really do appreciate it. Thank you to all the subs and resubs, y'all. The reason what I reason I'm able to do what I do as often as I do. I'm going to get this video archive uploading to Twitch, if, uh, YouTube, if you didn't catch all of it. And I'm going to hit publish on the Jund and um, Jurassic Nick Fit deck here momentarily. So peace, folks.